So, I just finished making a video on these gorgeous um, Light Seers Tarot cards. Uh, I cannot wait to start doing readings for everyone. Um, they're going to be practice, so they're going to be free, and you're going to have to um, appreciate that they are practice, so I will be referring to the book um, until I get... Um, you know, until I memorize it all, basically, and I know it off my heart, and I'm comfortable and confident to do a reading without it, because I don't don't want to be referring to a book when I really get into it. Anyway, I've opened um, the next one, which is the Sacred Traveller Oracle Cards. Now, on YouTube, I have been watching tons and tons of um, Pick a Card. I, I love those ones, and I always seem to get the ones... Um, that are spot on, which is good. So these people are, you know, they've obviously they've been doing it for years and years. Um, I haven't even done it for one day, so um, go easy on me. <laughs> um, but when I asked my friend to pick the tarot deck for me, because apparently it's bad luck pick your own. I can't remember where I read that or heard that, but anyway, I didn't want to take the risk. So she picked for me. Initially, I just sort of imagined buying one pack, but she chose two. So the light seers, and the, she said this one called out to her. Um, so Heather, thank you very much, sweetheart. Um, I know you'll be watching this, and uh, you're such an angel. Thank you so much for doing that for me, and everything else that you do. We're in constant sort of contact over Facebook. And I mean, she's all the way in, in the States. Um, we've, we've video chatted and all sorts. It's wonderful. But yeah, so she's picked these ones out for me. And I think this is just, it's me. So I'm hoping, you know, that these will be um, as wonderful as the lights here as ones are. So they're quite similar, you know, the, the size. And I didn't expect them to be as tiny. But I like the fact that they're tiny. I don't know why. I just, I like small little things. In fact, I have a phobia of very large structures, infrastructure. So when I was a child, we used to drive to my grandparents' house, which was in the far, in Wakefield, and it was um, Morley, sorry. And it was, um, there was a lot of farms and things like that, industrial estates, and the farms um, always stunk of pig food. If you've ever smelt that, it's the worst smell in the entire world. Um, <laughs> anyway, what was my bloody point? Oh, yeah, so um, we would make this drive, and it was, it was about a good sort of half an hour, 45-minute drive. And we would drive past these enormous, um, like, chimneys. And they were round. And I just couldn't even look at them. They just, they've given, I'm getting goosebumps just talking about them. I don't know what it is. It's the weirdest thing to have a strange issue with. I can't even describe what it is, what the issue is, but... To me, it's like a real discomfort of huge, big, enormous, round things. But anyway, so yeah, I like small things. <laughs> um, because I'm the smallest in my entire family, um, my, I, and I, I kind of didn't like that. You know, I don't really like being the height that I am. I'm only five foot tall. But my mum always sort of said, they don't make diamonds the size of bricks. Um, you know, so that was nice, but anyway, let's get to these cards. Wow, it's very purple. Purple's not really a color that I'm attracted to, um, a lot of the time. I like it, but I, I tend to steer near the watery colors. Um, but this is nice. Oh, and the, the, the author, 
is on the back. Denise Lynn is her name. She looks really nice. Nice smile. Um, the best-selling author of 18 books. In brackets, translated into 29 languages. Wow. Has researched healing traditions from cultures all over uh, around the world. Maybe that's why it's called The Traveller. Um, she regularly gives seminars around the planet. The planet? <laughs> what? <laughs> And appears extensively on international television and radio shows. Wow. So I have somebody's fame, so, like she's famous. That's good to know. Oh, do you know, these look gorgeous. My whole back is covered in goosebumps. Oh my god, oh my god! Whoa! Whoa! Oh my god, what the freak! Jesus Christ! God, it's like... Whoa, it's everywhere. I'm just getting like these chill, like, yeah, like chills going up and down my back and all over my legs and my arms. Holy, holy crapola. It's still going on. That's Flipping incredible. I can't believe that. I never, because nothing happened with the light seers, I didn't think, I didn't expect anything with these. <gasps> oh my God. That is so weird. Whoa. That's a little bit unnerving actually. My palms have suddenly got absolutely drenched. What's that all about? Can you see that? They're, they're absolutely drenched. I've started to sweat. What's going on? Is this supposed to happen? Heather, let me know if this is supposed to happen. What on earth? I'm just going to put them down for a minute. I ha both my hands are absolutely drenched and a little bit wobbly. Look at that. And I've suddenly got really hot, but I've got chills. Oh my God, that is so weird. What the flip? Okay. <laughs> Let's calm down now. My head's got a bit weird. Bloody hell, I can't believe that's that. I had that such a physical reaction to it because I had nothing with the light seers one. It's still going on. It's going. It's here. Just like this rush of almost adrenaline because I'm sort of sweating. I feel like I've run a marathon, but. It, but I'm getting cold at my back at the same time. Well, I have to take a minute. Sorry, guys. My 
head's gone really weird. You know, like if you've stood up too quickly. Okay, I'm just going to plow through it. Okay, I'm going to put them down for a little minute. Just get the guidebook. Yeah, no, nothing's happening now. Just very quickly, how how do I use? Because I don't I don't know any of the rules or regulations with oracle cards. I've not seen many. Um, I've not seen sufficient. Um, uh, videos to get any sort of um, foolproof, not foolproof, I can't, what am I even saying? Oh. Okay, contents, how to use, number five, three, four, five, how to use. Each of these cards acts as a key to a different gateway beyond the world of form into the invisible realm of spirit. Mm -hmm. So take time to get to know your cards. As a suggestion, hold each card for a brief moment to tune into its energy. Well, I think I've just done that. Or put, put them next to your bed. Really? Is that absolutely necessary? <laughs> so that you sleep an energy connection. Um, so that as you sleep, an energy connection can occur between you and the cards. Take time to consider the sacredness of the journey before you begin your reading. Whether you do the reading for yourself or for another, you're stepping into the hollowed role of the wise oracle. Flip me, I didn't realise it was that intense. Whether um, blah, 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 blah. Preparation, clear your space. <laughs> it's pretty clustered at the moment. Let's hurl that over there, switch that over there, move that over there, move the plastic there, that's okay, move the keyboard up a bit, skadoosh. Centre yourself. I know it doesn't mean that, but call spirit. Be open to being a conduit for spirit. Hold the phone. I don't think I signed up for that. Maybe that was what was going on with this whole flipping coldness. But then why have I got the sweaty palms? What's that all about? Can you have both, chills and sweats? Mind you, you have that when you have a fever, don't you? Call spirit. Be open to being a conduit for spirit. Take a few deep breaths and call upon your higher self, angels, spirit guides and ancestors. Ask for assistance and guidance. Maybe I can use my um, spirit talker. You know, just, this will increase the clarity and the power of the reading. Give thanks in advance for the support and love that flows into you. Thanks for giving me the chills. Um, prematurely. <laughs> Goodness, I can't, I can't believe this. This is an important step. Whether you are doing the reading for yourself or for another, focus your intent. Where intention goes, energy flows. Become clear on the results that you desire. From the reading, if you desire a feeling of deep satisfaction, focus on that. Activate sacred space. Imagine you are in the middle of a mystic sphere of energy and light. Okay, my head is... Oh, what's going on? It feels really weird. It feels like a kind of pressure. 
like I get when there's spirits around, exactly the same. Flipping heck. Oh, I've got the... Uh, clean, uh, clear the cards. Between every reading, it's valuable to clear your cards. You can do this by holding them over the smoke of sage or cheddar. Cheddar? Surely not cheddar cheese. <laughs> can you imagine? Choosing the cards. Energize your hands as you concentrate and focus your intention. Slowly rub your hands together until you feel the warm and tingly. What the deuce, really? You're energizing them in preparation for working with the cards. Fill your cards with love. Hold the deck in your hands and then slowly place the deck in the center of your chest. Ask a question. So, okay. Shuffle the cards, then spread the cards out and allow your hands to hover over them. Okay, so no shuffling, spread. Let me move that a bit forward. Select the cards. Your fingers may tingle, the whole bloody body has, or feel warm. <gasps> oh my God. Look at it, look at it, look how, how, how utterly drenched my hands are. And my upper lip, I've hurled that cloth over there. <laughs> tingle yeah and feel warm um as you're near the cards you are meant to turn over so i ha i held them all in my hand at the same time so maybe that's why it was so overwhelming as a suggestion don't take too long often that can uh, this can mean that you were overthinking it just let your intuition flow turn a card over look at the card look up the meaning choose a method all right, okay. A conduit. Okay. I just have to, I just have to go for it. Come on. Let's start, okay. Look, they're slipping all over the place. They're that drenched. And I've got just tingles all over me now. This is utterly bonkers. I'm very, very overwhelmed. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just getting that. I am, I'm, look at my, no, thank the Lord, save some dignity. I'm just turning my tablet on. Wait a minute, what did it say? Do I have to say something before? So I have to ask a question. What about the reverse? There's no mention of reverse. You know, does it have to be upright or reverse? Is there a, an option for that? I don't think there was anything for that. A swipe. And skadoosh. I've just got my spirit walker. I'll just show you. Look at, oh my god, I can't believe it. Just to show you. What the flip? This is really surreal. It's really, really. Um, my head's all over the place. I don't even know what I'm searching for now. What am I searching for? Oh yeah, the reverse. My heart rate, my heart is going quite fast. So I don't know whether something's happened already or not. I don't know. I think so. Send to yourself, call spirit, be a conjurer, take a few, give thanks. 
Focus your intent. Energize your hands, hold the deck, ask a question. The questions shouldn't be yes, no questions. They should be more open-ended, such as what is the best way to resolve this situation? Okay, that's good to know. As you mix and remix the cards, continue to call spirit while staying centered. Your fingers may tingle. Blah, blah, blah. There are no accidents. What the chunk? It actually says it there. There are no accidents. I'm sure I said that in my last video. This is weird. Right, okay. I think I know what to do. So I think that the with oracle cards there's no there's no mention of upside down or anything like that. So I think they Okay, so nope. Oh god, I'm just tingling all over. I'm sweating, but I'm tingling. What on earth is going on? Okay, I call upon the spirits, my spirit guides, my ancestors to assist me in this reading. I'm going to put the spirit talker on so that you may speak to me if you so wish. The whole conduit thing there, what on earth? Okay, let's just... Let's just get into it. Right, so, shuff, should I sh shuffle? I'll shuffle because they'll just be packed in order, won't they? So I'll shuffle. Oh my God. Spirits, I speak to you, my spirit guides, my ancestors. Let me press start on this. Please assist me in this reading. Oh, God. I've got to ask a question. Am I being a conduit right Speak. Speak? Speak, okay. My question. Um, what type of of tarot card reader will I be? That's an open question. What type of tarot, tarot card will I be? Down. Down? Put the cards down. Okay, so I'm spreading them out as much as I can. I don't have a lot of space. And then warm, feel warm. You can't see, but I'm hovering my hand over the cards. I'm trying to feel for a temper temperature difference. This is so weird. Do you know it's weird? It's gonna sound weird, but I can feel hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold. So what type of tarot card reader? Noise. Noise. Will I be? This one's room. This one. Crossing bridges. It's time for. <sighs> Healing, connecting, mending, and releasing. Sorry, my dogs have just suddenly stopped barking. Crossing bridges. It's time for healing, connecting, mending, and releasing. Healing. So I'm going to be a healer. Fatal. Let's see what it says in here. 
Crossing Bridges. <sighs> oh. Page 37. It's time for healing, connecting, mending, releasing. Card meaning. Joseph. Joseph. Mm -hmm. Crossing bridges is a way to let go of the past and begin a new cycle of life. A heartfelt change is ahead. It's time for healing old wounds with people and situations. It's time to forgive and let go of the past. Do whatever you need to do to make amends and then let it all go. If there is anything unresolved in your life, take steps to restore and reconcile. You may even need to burn your bridges behind you. Heal the rifts within yourself. Watch out. Watch out. Help others... Uh, transverse bridges in their lives. So I'm going to help others. I'm going to be a healer. What the sacred traveller wants you to know. When the traveller crosses the bridge, a new land awaits on the other side. You are ready to cross a bridge in your life. There are times to step away from certain people and situations. There are also times to carefully mend bridges with people, situations and places and then go forward. This is one of those powerful healing times to choose. Maybe there is a wound inside of you that needs to be forgiven or right. accepted. Right? Forgiven or accepted. Transform the inner grievance. Forgive. Let it go. Do it now. You no longer need to carry it with you. Perhaps there is a person from your past with whom you should reconnect or release completely. You know what you need to do. This is the time to do it. So intense. Well, it's nothing like the light tower, the light seers towers, is it? I was all happy. I'm kind of freaking out here. Okay, let's ask another one. So that's that one. Do I shrivel them again? Maybe. I call upon the spirits, spirit guides and ancestors. Please help me with this reading. Thank you very much. So it's a good thanks. Thank you. Eleven. Again, if you're doing this, you're warming your hands up. So then when you go to put them on the cards, they're going to be warm. Maybe if I just leave them a little bit, cool them down. Okay, let's try again. Oh, I've just touched one, so I'm going to take that as... First light, beginning a new cycle. It's, it's very similar, isn't it? First light. What is with the heritage? First light. <laughs> Fifty cents. Thanks. First line, page 53. Beginning a new cycle. Card meaning, a new day has begun in your life. You are at the beginning of a new cycle. It's time to release the old and start again. Wipe the slate clean. Although it's often difficult to release family routine, uh, familiar routines, situations or relationships that no longer empower you, it's now time to set your sights on the future and let go of the past. It's all to do with stuff in my past, isn't it? The sacred traveller wants you to know 
the traveller faces eastward, east toward the sunrise, and affirms that a new day and a new cycle have begun. New beginnings. Come and go. Come and go. New beginnings are often fraught with the unknown. Uh, the unknown? Yet the sacred traveller has observed on the extended journey that life goes in a cycle. In the cycle of life, the plants die in the autumn, so they, there can be new birth in the spring. <clears throat> the sun rises and the sun sets. It's the universal dance of death and rebirth. 17. There's no time to end and begin. Bloody hell. In your life, it's the close of, the, of one cycle, the close of one cycle and the beginning of another. Face fear about the unknown. Surprise. Surprise. And be willing to begin anew. You will succeed. This is super intense. I'm just going to do one more because I'm a little bit unnerved doing this, to be honest. I'm, um, I'm okay, but um, uh, I want to ease my way into this. I feel like this is going to be pretty intense for me. I'll just give them a shrill. I call upon the spirits of spirit guides and my ancestors for guidance during this reading. And I give thanks for any aid that you show me. Lillian. Lillian? I wonder who that is. Okay, so I'm going to be a healer type of um, tarot card reader. Did I ask a question in the last one? I can't remember. This scared. Name? Scared. Okay. How am I connected to these tarot cards? That's an open question. How am I connected to these traveller, sacred traveller oracle cards? Charles. Charles. Okay, I'm going over the... Fogged in, so go slow, take time. Okay, yeah, I think I need to with this. Blow my neck. Fogged in. F. Screaming. 55. card meaning even if you can't see what's around the next corner go forward slowly and gently you are safe huh. that's better thank you when you take the time to go slowly new perceptions emerge that you can't see if you're moving fast move away from the rapid pace of everyday life and step into the majesty of stillness. Hmm. Okay. Take time to tune into your deeper intuition. Power is born in those times when you relax into the present moment. What the sacred traveler wants you to know Sometimes the mist and fog are so thick. Kill. Ah, kill. Sometimes the mist and fog are so thick that the traveller feels uncertain about everything. Where am I going? What am I meant to do? Why can't I see what's ahead? However, it's in the, those moments of unknowing 
that the deepest and most profound answers in, to life's big questions can emerge. Wow. The secret is to transfer slowly and carefully as to not fall off the path. Be careful. Proceed with caution in all things as you sense the best direction. Listen Power. To power. Listen to the whisperings of your soul. Trust your inner voice. Wow. Intense. That's, uh, that's what I can conclude from this. I'm just going to switch this off. Thank you, uh, Spirit. Bye. God. Intense. That was intense. I hadn't a clue that that was going to happen. Um, it's, uh, I, yeah, I can't find the words at the moment. Just gathering all these cards up now. Wow. Yeah, I'm going to go slowly with that, with this, this pack. Um, I feel a bit sort of breathless in a way. Like, I don't know. I mean, the, there was a physical reaction to that. A drastic one at that. Anyway, okay, I'm going to wrap that up. So those are my tarot cards. Um, thank you so much for watching. It's been another redonkulously long video, so my apologies for that. Um, and uh, I hope to see you all on my Facebook for readings when I get going. I will put like a little notice up um, when I feel ready to do that. Um, and just feel free. I'll put Put the, you know, what, what you need to do and whatnot, and we'll do a Facebook face a video recording or something like that. I haven't really thought about it yet, but... God, I, I don't know whether I need to go for a, a cold shower now or a hot bath. I've had chills and sweats at the same time. Anyway, thank you for watching. Take care until the next time. Bye.